All right, so we on Black Mountain now. I've been wanting to do some videos for the updates for a week and a half or two weeks now, and I just ain't had time, so I'm trying to get them all done in one day in, in a, about two hours here while my daughter sleeps. Um, I'll start off saying the same thing I said in the last one. I hope everybody had a good Christmas and a good New Year. Uh, mine was good. Uh, other than being a little sick and the wife being sick, things were, were good. Um, <clears throat> I've changed up some things on here a little bit, um, so before we even get started, I always get, I always freaking do this, but anyway, so there's going to be a couple things you're going to notice right off the bat just by looking, is I changed the trees, um, since the premium came out, the Zalonka map and all the new carrots, parsnips, and beetroot or whatever it is, <clears throat> this map has been broken because it has too many crop types I have fixed that and the first version that I tried to fix I removed crops to make it work <clears throat> Giants kind of uh, they did not pass it they came back and said why not fix it to where all things work so Giants pushed me to figure out how to make it work and I did. The only downfall to that is, is all the grass is now starting off new, so it's going to have to grow. And over time, it'll grow up full-size grass like it was before, but I had to change two things in the XML to make those bigger for the new crops. So in return, <clears throat> it did this to the grass. Now, if the grass hadn't been here, I'd have went through and repainted it. You know, it, it took the time and then done it. But since the grass is here and it's going to regrow, I decided just to leave it alone. I wish I could make this start in March. I don't know how to do that, but if I could, it'd be cool that your grass would start to grow along with spring. Um, the other thing is over here in the forest grass which this grass wasn't worth a crap anyway, which, you know, I, I didn't know at the time or I put different grass down, but it changed it. So now the forest sort of looks like this all the way through. Uh, this will not grow. <laughs> I guess because it's not part of the growth or whatever of the map, it, this is just how it's going to stay now. Uh, so seeing that it needed, it was going, it, that, the end result was going to have to have an, a, a, a new game save. I went ahead and replaced the trees too to put them back to better trees. So stuff like the wheeled harvester from the, the Silver Run will work with them now. And myself, I think these are better trees than the 22 trees as far as performance goes. The collisions seem to be better. Uh, and plus, it just made it look more like 19 and, and 17. It makes, to me, makes it look more authentic, I guess. I just, I like it better. <clears throat> All right, so I also added baby animals to this. So I want to show you that I changed out the pins. And the reason why I changed out the pins is so you can place down whatever you want. So I know the grass ain't there, uh, you know, I I know that, it, it, but you can place whatever pin you want to now, except for a base game pin, and when I say that, I want to show you something in here. Mason County is the same way while I'm thinking about it, it anything will work with it. So, Lancey Boy and Glinger, I think I say that right or who helped me get the animals to work. So when you go over here to animals, a base one, a base game one, like that's a horse. Well, I ain't down where I need to be yet. So the base game one, if you place this, you can place it, you can buy it, but the animal will not show up in it. So do not buy no base game ones. Just come over here, grab this one. It says Black Mountain down here. 
It's the same exact thing. Just slap her down. I think it said I didn't have enough money for the second one, but. Let's do this. So there's you some babies to start out with that way if you wanted to start out that way. But if you buy the base game one and you do what I just done, the animals won't show up. You can't do nothing with them. So there's your pig pen, just your regular base game pig pig pen. Get myself going a little faster here. Cow barn's the same way, except I give you the big one on the cow barn, and it does come out here in the road a little bit more. But you start with this now. Uh, also, when you start, you I, I redid the farmland to where you own all of this. Where this you didn't used to own this. But now you do, so that way you can place whatever you want down there. Um, I just thought it would be 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 better this way. But yeah, okay. All right. Now I wanted to show you that I didn't remove any of the stuff that was in here, so you still got the alfalfa and all the other crops that was in here before. Uh, plus, you got the all the other the new stuff from the DLC is in here, and it works. <clears throat> okay, what else? Oh, sir. I removed the recycling from the map. And I did that so... I'm A lot of the stuff that I'm taking out that I like myself, like I like the recycling in this map. But when I start adding my trucks to it and then start adding all this other new stuff to it, the file size gets real big. I don't like a big file size. I hate it that Mason County is as big as it is. I like to try to keep mine under 500 because I just, I just do. Um, so I removed the recycling from here. I removed all the signage that was around the map. I figured most people's going to be smart enough to know how it all works now that since that, that kind of stuff ain't in here um <clears throat> uh so the recycling's not in the map no more no more junk collection um i don't know if I don't know if I said before or not, but at one point in time, I kind of leveled this out or, you know, smoothed this out some more so you could build you a road off of there if you wanted to. <clears throat> All right, I added the pallets and, and um, plywood production to the map. Uh, uh, let's see here. I had it. <clears throat> so when I update my maps from now on out, the stuff, some of this stuff's going to be standard in here just because uh, I added, like, for instance, pallets to it so you can have a way of, of doing maybe a base game production that you would like to do, but it just works better and performs better and it takes pallets and, you know, whatever else. So this is just going to be, that's going to be standard stuff in the map. <clears throat> But the new stuff, so this dairy, spinnery, and the bakery is new new to the map. Um, I see something I forgot to do on the, on the, the carpentry, but it's okay. Um, I was going to change wood chips to sawdust. That was the only thing I didn't do. Uh, this grain mill, it takes pallets and paper. So if you wanted to place it to do your... Uh, flour there's the root crop from the other map that I was from uh, Mason that I was talking about you know this is just a way for you to do the root crop stuff 
but do it uh, faster and, and all in one spot instead of it scattered everywhere. The plywood and the pallet production, that's what we're standing in front of now. Um, that's new, that's new, all this, you know, most of this, the cereal is new, everything but the carpentry is new so far. Uh, yeah, I updated the paper plant to be just cardboard and paper. Uh, there is, there's a new sawmill, we're going to go look at it in a little bit. Uh, I can't remember if crude oil was on here or not, but it is now. I updated the charcoal plant to do uh, charcoal and pellets. <clears throat> and I didn't realize that didn't have a, pay, a thing, so it'll probably fail for that if they see it. That's the animal feed production, this one. The, the the other one that I had, the the old style one. That's what that is. So yeah, and the stone crusher that used to be here, I took out of the map. There's no sense in having two when there's one up there already. And if you're wondering where the stone's at, I'll show you before we leave. Um, that's sellable. Pretty sure all that stuff's already sellable. Um, Let me think a minute here. Didn't change anything over there. We'll go up here to the sawmill now and I'll show you the sawmill. The one thing that I started to do that I didn't do and I thought would be kind of good for the map, and if it fails, I may do it later, and that's add gates around all the roads up there. Up at the up on the mountain here so you can if you want say for instance if you're playing with your friends you can shut each gate on roads you don't want nobody in other words you can lead yourself to where you need to be instead of you know going all over the place I decided to redo the sawmill because uh, well I just needed an update so I put this one up here. I left all this stuff over here the same. And all that's the same because I like that myself. But here's your new sawmill. I redid the area a little bit. Put this in here. This takes, you know, same thing as everything else. Uh, this. Let's see. This sawmill. Actually. I made this sawmill, uh, I, I made it smaller for this map, but it's also going to be on an update coming to Bear Rock too. But anyway, this does all your stuff. Uh, one row here, one row here, and one row here. Uh, I think it's wood beams, planks, and then your, your small boards. You, just, you buy it here. Uh, sawdust sawdust and hang on a minute sawdust bark and wood chips all load right here and I can't remember if this takes fuel or coal but it goes right here you know that's where it goes and of course you buy it there and everything else is self explanatory you unload on that hit your button and it goes to town um I did redo these over here. I got rid of the tractor and the other stuff, and then I put this wheel loader in here. Uh, I see something else I forgot to bring up here, too. Or, no, I decided not to. So, uh, originally I had a set of forks for this, too, and I decided to leave, the, to leave the forklift here instead because it's probably easier to use that than this to load the, the stuff when it starts producing. All uh, right. I think that's it with this map. I didn't really change a whole lot. I just fixed the stuff that was broke. Uh, I meant to do a new PDA on this one too and forgot to. Um, but anyway, that's the Black Mountain update that's going to be coming. Oh, the, the buildings, the sheds that were in here, 
Uh, I removed all the sheds off the map of of uh, uh, Taylor Farms because they are available on Mod Hub. I only kept two. I kept the one at the, the one the original farm, uh, where, the one on the original farm, which is this one. So you can place one down wherever you want to, also on the map. Uh, and then I kept the my 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 store, uh, the one up there that I used for the store. Um, I kept those two in here, but the other ones I I, I got rid of his versions are on mod hub if you want those in fact they're better than the ones i have because they're the updated ones with the the bell storage so if you if you want those sheds in the map again you you just have to go download them that way you got them for yourself there's nothing against him i just his his are more updated and better than what i had in the map so go get the better version But it wouldn't have been right to take that out and then not have this in here because this is 17 black. This is the 17 version. Just that being there. <laughs> All right, so I did change some of the starting equipment. Uh, I got rid of, yeah, all the stuff that was in here. Um, I didn't, I don't know, I don't guess I thought it was necessary anymore. Um... But I think I kept all the tractors and everything that was in here. Yeah, there's that, that, yeah. So you got to kept, you kept all the tractors and everything. I just got rid of this other stuff. You know, I figure most people sold all that and got what they wanted anyway. So all the other equipment's the same. Um, all the houses, this is still Taylor Farms also. I kept it also. Um, I didn't want to change none of this because I like how it looks here. But, yeah, that's... Uh, you got all your new animals in here, ducks the whole nine yards, goats. Now, this map doesn't do goat's milk because, well, <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot to put one in here. But if they fell it, I'll be sure to at least make one. Uh, I'll, I'll make sure that at least one, there's a way for you to get goat's milk in here. I'll make sure of that. But yeah, that's Black Mountain. That's the update. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching. And I hope that when you, you update it, you enjoy it. Till next time, later.